on today's episode of Cigar Reel in Season 3, Part 2 of Frequently Asked Questions About Cigars. And that's going to be on today's episode of Cigar Reel in Season 3, which starts now on Cigar Reel. Good day, y'all. Welcome to Cigar Reel. I am Mike. On today's episode of Cigar Reel is a part two of Cigars Frequently Asked Questions on today's episode of Cigar Reel. And don't forget to hit my cash app, which is dollar sign Cigar Reel MM. All donations help out the Cigar Reel family. And you can follow me on all my social media platforms at Cigar Reel real and when we come back we're going to tackle in part two frequently asked questions on cigars when we come back this is cigar reel in season three good day y'all welcome back to cigar reel season three part two of frequently asked questions of cigars the next question or the first question of this part two is wrapper color and indication of the cigar strength I'm gonna say yes because there seems to be a misconception that cigar strength is indicated by the color of the wrapper the darker wrapper is more an indication of a stronger cigar than a pale wrapper which is a mild cigar. There are some cigars that have pale wrappers and will be put you through a wall. It is however the color of the wrapper which is truly reflects the strength of a cigar. The, the darker the tobacco, the more body and strength it will have when smoked, which is important. The types of tobacco is called Larego, Lajero. It comes from the upper primary of the tobacco plant and has a higher nature concentrate of nicotine that makes it stronger. At the very most, a darker wrapper it will contribute to a slightly spiceless in taste, which is the cigar is smoked. These darker wrappers are called Maduro. I'm a, I am a Maduro smoker because I like the full body flavors of a cigar. The manufacturer ages the Maduro wrapper leaf at a higher temperature when the natural wrapper leaf, this what gives it the darker color and spicier, sometimes sweeter taste. So yes, if you're looking for a mild you want to do a lighter leaf and if you're looking for a full body you want to do what I do is smoke the darker wrapper because it tends to be a more fuller body smoke the the cigar palette like the spices really doesn't have anything to do in my opinion it's just I like you may like if you're starting out do natural and if you smoke it for a while and you build that tolerance level a Maduro smoke is going to be a very good full body smoke. And when we come back, part two of Cigar Frequently Asked Questions, when we come back, this is Cigar Reel in season three. Welcome back to Cigar. I am Mike. In part two of the Frequently Asked Questions of Cigars, before we get into our next question, make sure you Hit my cash app, which is dollar sign Cigar Reel MM. And you can follow me on all my social media platform at Cigar Reel. This is a laid back version of Cigar Reel in Season 3. Doing cigars, frequently asked questions. And the next question is we briefly talked about it in Part 1. 
But what is the best way to light a cigar? Well, lighting your stick evenly is the most important thing to remember. When you first start, you may want to toast your cigar, as we mentioned in part one, a bit, whether it is a match or a butane lighter. This will sometimes make it easier for the filler on a bigger ring gauge cigar to light more evenly. Next, gently puff on your cigar while you hold the flame at the end of the cigar. The foot, not the head. Be, be sure to rotate the cigar so the whole end gets lit properly. Remember, the hottest part of any flame is right above where you can visually see the actual flame. Which that is very, very, very important. And when we come back on Cigar Roll Season 3, we're going to do more cigar frequently asked questions when we come back. This is Cigar Reel Season 3. Welcome back to Cigar Roll Season 3. Today's episode is frequently asked questions about cigars. The next question is, is there a proper way to smoke a cigar? There is a proper way to smoke a cigar. You fill your mouth with a smooth, easy draw of smoke, savor the complex flavor of the tobacco on the palate, and then gently exhale to re remove the smoke from your mouth. Fill the cigar in your hand, rotate the cigar between your lips, enjoy the textures receiving from the cigar, remove the ash from the cigar just before it is ready to fall off. Don't worry, this takes practice. The most important factor in smoking a cigar is to relax and enjoy the cigar, the cigar flavor, the cigar notes. Just enjoy the cigar. The next cigar frequently asked question is, what is the best way to exhausting a cigar? A cigar is all tobacco, and therefore it continues to burn on its own for only a short time. When finished with a cigar, Simply let, let the cigar rest in the ashtray and it will go out on its own. The best time to let a cigar go out is when you're no longer enjoying it. So if you're not enjoying a cigar, maybe you should find another cigar that you can probably enjoy. And when we come back, a few more frequently asked questions about cigars when we come back. This is Cigar Reel in Season 3. Welcome back to Cigar Reel Part 2. In Season 3 of the Frequently Asked Questions About Cigars. The last question in Part 2 is, what's the best way to store a cigar? Probably in a humidor. So, without proper storage, cigars can become worthless, dry, devoid of pleasure, and most likely unsmokable. The best way to store a cigar is by putting them in a container which is able to maintain a 70 degree temperature and 70% humidity level. The easiest way, of course, is to purchase a humidor, like I mentioned earlier. Humidors are commonly made of wood and come in humidification elements. Normally, cigar humidors come in cedar. Humidors are commonly made of wood and come with humidification elements. Most humidification elements contain some sort of water retraining medium, which allows you to distill water and chemical additives to regularly to regulate the humidity. So you want to make sure you have a humidor that maintains 70 degrees, 70% 70 humidity. I like mine at 72%, 72 humidity. But everyone's a little bit different when it comes to that. And when we come back, more 
with Cigars Frequently Asked Questions in Cigar Reel Part 2, Season 3. This is Cigar Reel. Welcome back to Cigar. I am Mike. We just got done completing Part 2 of the Frequently Asked Questions of Cigars. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Don't forget to hit my cash app, which is dollar sign Cigar Reel MM. And you can follow me on all my social media platform at Cigar Reel. This is Cigar Reel Season 3, Part 2 of Cigars Frequently Asked Questions. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of Cigar Reel in Season 3. This is Cigar Reel.